call me for help, Cynthia. I'm here in Phoenix. What can I do for you? Well, my mom's a drug addict, and we've been living in motels for about a month now. We're moving all the time. Um, she spends our child support money, our food stamp money, rent money, everything else, every, all the money on drugs, and I need help. What and kind of drugs is she spending on? Crystal meth. This has been how I've lived my whole life. So your whole life? has just been moving around from one place to another, I've never moved, having a stable environment? We've moved like 18 times since 2002. Who's all living up in there? Me, my uncle, my mom, my brothers are stuck here, and I've left, but I can't leave them here in this situation. Do you ever ask her, Mom, why don't you stop doing drugs and get us in an apartment so I can like go back to school and we can have meals and my brothers can go back to school and we can live a, a normal life. Do, yeah. do you ever, and what does she say to this? It's not that easy. I'm here for you and I'm here for your brothers. I'm here to take you out of this situation. And I have a place for you and your brothers to go to where you're gonna be taken care of. You're gonna have people looking out for you. Now I got a place where I can take your mother to rehab. I can get her in that program and she can choose to clean herself up and become a mother to you or she can choose to step in that hotel room and sleep all day and do meth and lay around with these men. But it's going to be her choice. I can't make her go to rehab. OK. Are you ready to do this? Yes. And you're going to be tough, right? Yes. Let's go. All right, now we're going to have a talk. I came all the way from Chicago to deal with you. Because your daughter, six-year-old daughter, crazes enough, wants help because her mom's a meth head. You're a meth head, right? Yes. Feel comfortable in that chair? Feel comfortable? Sure. Then stand your ass up. Stand your ass up, because you know what? I want you to be uncomfortable as you made your daughter living in this room. You're living in a hotel room like it's a house. Pots and pans in the bathroom. All these guys sleeping in here. Did you, no, you're gonna run? Where are you going? Where are you going? Your daughter wants you to get into rehab. You, you're going to end up dead, and you're going to run away. This is your last chance. I know I'm doing Listen, wrong. Listen, then let's go back and talk. Go back in the room and talk. Come on. This is your life we're talking about. I'm here because of your daughter. I'm here because of Steven and Darren, 12 and a 4-year-old, living in this room with all these guys. And you, you want to go running down the hallway. You have a 16-year-old daughter that just spilled her, her heart out to me. She told me the story about when she was 11 years old. And you got your face smashed in. They got kidnapped. They took them somewhere in the middle of the night. And they smashed your face in. Were, were, you, were, were, were you crying for your children then? Yes, I was. And, and that incident hurt you so bad, you cleaned yourself up. Did you clean yourself up? Tanya, come I'm back leaving. and go to rehab. 20 minutes and you're going to rehab. I'm leaving. Tanya, you're walking away from your kids. Your kids are in this hotel room right now. They're all by themselves. You're walking away from your kids. Mom. What? Where are you going? Mom, you have to go. You need to do something about it. We've been living like this forever. You need to go get help. I'm sick of it, Mom. How do you think the boys feel? I know how they feel. Doesn't mean I don't care about you guys. I care about you guys more than anything in this world. It's hard being addicted to drugs. In 20 minutes, I could put you on a plane. We could go to rehab. And what are you, what are you still doing? You, you love you. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. But Steve's here, Steve's gonna pay for my rehab, and I'm running down the hallway, away from my kids. You won't stop for me, but thank God you stopped for her. I'm simply pointing out what your kids have. A little tiny refrigerator with that much milk, with a rotten tomato. Y yeah, I know it's embarrassing, but that's part of being a meth head, right? You make bad choices, you're doing stupid things. Your kids are suffering because of what you're doing. Mom, I'm sick of it. I don't want to live like this anymore. <laughs> I don't want the baby to go through what we went through. 
I want you to go to rehab. I want you to come out, and I want you to be a wonderful mother to these children. That's what I want. Can you do it? Yes. Your mom's uh, she's got a, a bit of a problem, and we're going to take her to a place, and we're going to help your mom out. And she's going to she's going to get some medical attention. And while she's away, you and your sister and your brother are going to be all together, and you're going to get to live in a house, and you're going to have your own bed, and you're going to have nice meals when you wake up, and for lunch and for dinner, and you're going to have all those things while your mom's away, getting help. Okay. The good news is Tanya did go to rehab. And the better news is she graduated today. Let's bring her out. Congratulations. What was it like in rehab? It was great. I love it. I loved it. I learned a lot about myself. Um, things that happened to me when I was a kid, you know, um, I know that that's the reason why I got high, to cover up all those feelings. And um, I don't have to live like that today. Are you happy you went? Yes. You're glad you went and you got oh, yeah. cleaned up? Do you think that you would ever go back to that lifestyle? No, I'm moving out of Phoenix. So that's and I'm going to become the... a drug and alcohol counselor. You're going to become a drug and alcohol counselor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so I have a surprise for you. I brought your children here. Oh, my God. Let's bring them. Let's bring the children out. <laughs> How do you feel about your mom now? I'm proud of her. You look good. Thank you. I miss you. 